Oh, hey guys, my name's Henry Two. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, something different. We're actually going to be, go oh, I'm going to be going over. Let me do my SE mode plan. Uh, I'm going to actually be going over some uh, uh, some new games out. Um, let me turn the brightness up here because I was told to last time. We're going to go over some games that uh, not necessarily would uh, normally come up, and this is slightly different because I've not done this before. And uh, I'm just going to go over and view them slightly. And, uh, Hope my laptop doesn't different changing from battery mode to AC mode 24/7. Uh, but yes, we are going over uh, two games. Uh, first one we're going to go over is Red Orchestra 2, which I two, which I am really looking forward to. Sorry, it's Red Orchestra 2: Heroes of Stalingrad. And yes, it is set in Stalingrad, where the probably one of the uh, greatest battles out there, or not greatest. I'm not going to say great because it was not. Uh, but it was certainly one of the bloodiest battles, and certainly a heroic battle fought by either uh, both sides, um, the uh, the Germans and against the Russians. Um, and this game focuses on uh, pretty much everything around the Battle of Stalingrad, coming up to it, and in itself, the Battle of Stalingrad. Um, and when I say the Battle of Stalingrad, um, if you don't know about it, it wasn't just one battle. It was a um, it was a, a many uh, a long period of time where uh, many skirmishes and um, many thousands of men fought and died um, to try and take one city. Um, so, yes, that happened in World War II. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to hop right into the trailer. And so if I find it, uh, this is it. We're going to hop into the teaser trailer, which came out a while, a while ago. Um, I'm just going to go over it first. I'm going to be quiet so you can actually listen to it. And, yeah... Uh, let's play. Guys, well, I'm coming up with some lag problems. Hopefully, this isn't affecting you too badly. Let's try again. Hey guys, so that was the uh, teaser trailer, so to speak, and that came out a while ago. Um, I think that might came out on E3, I'm not quite, no, it came out of PAX, I think. Um, but yeah, that was the teaser trailer, and uh, that was quite a while ago. And so uh, what we can see in the actual video, if I can get to it, we can see a tank. Um, if we just scroll back through here. Oops. Let's turn the sound off quickly. There we go. So we ha actually can see a tank, and uh, Red Orchestra 1, um, which uh, was their first game, uh, was actually, um, uh, it did include many tanks, and that was one of the things they became known for, was the tank combat, and they have reintroduced it again, and they are, uh, they've really uh, updated it, um, you have full on tank, uh, uh, let's say, uh, mechanics inside, as we you saw in the trailer, no that was not a cinematic necessarily, well it was, but that's what you will see inside. They've had in completely interior the tanks, and you have um, the entire crew is there, and you can switch positions from tank, driver, commander, uh, gunner, and loader. I'm pretty sure. So uh, that looks to be uh, very good. Um, what else did we see in that trailer? We saw the uh, the use of uh, squads there, and yes, there are squads, so you can join a squad. Uh, but that was just a teaser trailer, and uh, it just gave you an introduction. Um, so we're, we're going to move on to the next trailer. 
uh, which is this one. And this is another trailer that we are looking at. And this is going to be uh, the new multiplayer trailer, which just came out. I'm pretty sure it came out today. Uh, but this is taken from gameplay, so I hope you enjoy this trailer. And uh, yeah, let's hope you enjoy. So first of all, we can see this is, you can definitely see this is definitely in Stalingrad, uh, due to the ruins. Uh, Stalingrad was pretty much leveled during the war, and um, so this is the first part. So you can see the actual, all the lighting here is very good. And this is the use of the new uh, Unreal Tournament Engine 3. Uh, the old game was uh, using the uh, second edition of the engine. Um, and so with this uh, third one, it runs under DirectX X11. So what we're going to see is actual uh, beta gameplay footage, and uh, the beta is only just, uh, well, the uh, open beta, so to speak, which has come out to the public for anyone who's uh, pre-ordered it. Now, I haven't pre-ordered it because uh, I've been following it closely just to see if I wanted it, and I'm going to scavenge around see if I can grab some extra cash and pay for it. Uh, but yes, uh, this is some beta uh, gameplay from uh, their own closed beta. Um, so yeah, this has come out just as I think the open beta has started, and this will continue to the end of August, which isn't very long. So the first thing we can see is there are lots of guys. And uh, in, in uh, Red Orchestra 2, there is going to be 32 players on a side maximum. So 64 is what it's going to be um, aiming at, 64 player matches. There are two types of game modes. There are uh, the uh, secure game mode, or I can't actually remember what it is the actual name, but it's basically like, uh, uh, not capture the flag, but uh, domination in Call of Duty, if you've ever played that, or, uh, ooh, conquest in Battlefield, um, if you've ever played that, and so that uh, looks to be very good. Uh, there is also the uh, another game mode, which they're coming out, which is going to be um, Countdown, and this is basically like your MCOM stations, except you have one life, it's like Search and Destroy, almost, um, and you basically have to secure an area, plant a bomb, or do an objective with the limited amount of men you have. And there are certain variables in it which I might go on to explain. But first, let's continue with the trailer. So as you can just see here, that is the tank commander position. And you can see you're in a full-on tank position, as in you were the crew. And this is a very new feature. It is only shipping out with two tanks. The Panzer IV for the Germans, and the T-34 for the Russians. Um, this is because the tanks take a long time to build, or certainly uh, for the actual engine, and um, they will uh, produce more in uh, downloadable content. Whether it's free or not, uh, we don't know yet. Uh, just a quick thing to add to that tank crew. Uh, the tank crew can be AI controlled as well, and then you can control what they do also, so that's also very good. Again, this machine gun here, we can see is mounted, and that gets for extra stability, so less recoil. Uh, so yes. Now if you notice there, the guys go down very quickly. Now this is uh, one of the things about Red Orchestra. It is basically a really hardcore version of your hardcore game type in uh, most games. It's uh, basically like you're super hardcore. Um, there is, uh, you basically have very little health. Uh, bullet penetration and ballistics all included. There is bullet drop and all of this included. Um, so it is very realistic. So um, if you're like me, and I, I really wanted a game like this to come out, which seems like, yes, I feel like I'm actually there, you know. It feels like I'm not taking 20 bullets to kill, you know, one sodding guy. Uh, but, uh, you know, one shot to the head can prove fatal, you know, as it is. If you take a shot to the brain, it's going to really hurt. Uh, if not kill you, put you out of action, certainly. So uh, this is something good. So uh, you can see uh, this is an MP40 we're seeing here. Now what we're seeing here is bullet spray. And you also will see, coming up and there, is the suppression mode. Uh, similar to Battlefield 3, which is coming out soon, uh, it uh, basically, as it uh, in Battlefield 3, uh, it causes you to uh, 
your heartbeat to raise. You have a heartbeat, I'm pretty sure, in this one. Uh, well, sorry, it's, it's, I'm talking about this, not Battle for the Three. Uh, you have heartbeat, and it continues to raise. Um, and so that is one of the things that comes up. Um, yeah, so it also uh, makes your screen blur, and your shots are less accurate. So here, we can uh, just see the actual scale of everything all the buildings and you can see how many men we're playing so this is a good uh, good show of the scale now that was not cinematic as it is it's beta gameplay and yes you can do blind fire now of course you know blind fire is pretty cool but on a game so realistic as this blind fire is not always safe especially if your teammates have just jumped over the wall as in this foot as in that footage so I wasn't sure about that choice but it's certainly uh, good to show uh, so it's a, a full-on first-person uh, behind uh, cover aspect, so that's always good. So which we can see here, you can lean out of cover, um, as in if you were in third person, but this is a first-person mechanic. Uh, there is bullet penetration in this game, different things, like a rifle will go straight through a... Uh, a uh, brick wall, and we did see a bullet go through, just missing him, narrowly, so uh, there is all that uh, bullet penetration mechanics in the game. Now here, just there anyway, um, I really wasn't sure what was going on, because how on earth that guy survived, if anything? I mean, sticking your head up after you've just been shot and ducked together, that made no sense and he should have been killed in my eyes, but moving on. Uh, oops, sorry, in that picture we can see more tank gameplay, and yes, there is uh, some map supposedly, I uh, can't quite remember, but don't uh, quote me on this, but uh, there are going to be maps which are tanks only, or meant for tanks, uh, certainly, and so um, that is a gameplay aspect you can just uh, see coming on, because uh, imagine uh, 32 versus 32 tanks, that's going to be pretty impressive, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. Now what you can see here... Here, uh, we have the uh, 3D or kind of interactive, uh, so to speak, sniper. Now, in a normal sniper, you can zoom in and uh, you can actually see around you when you zoom in because uh, you have your awareness. And uh, quite often in games, you zoom in and you can't see anything around you part of the scope. And so in this game, you can actually see uh, what's through the scope. The scope uh, will actually the, uh, you, you will, it will move side to side if you move vigorously with it. And so you actually can't see... Uh, necessary. So if you uh, if we look at the ring right here, well, normally that would head out right to the round the slide if you're looking straight at it. But due to the fact it's moved to the side and it's wobbling because of the recoil, uh, it uh, gives that effect. Uh, you can also, um, if uh, you're in close range, because often in World War II the snipers were literally modified rifles with uh, a scope stuck onto them, and so they could actually zoom down their normal iron sights usually. And in a normal game, when you come up to close quarters, you have no chance with a sniper. Uh, unless you're playing Modern Warfare 2, of course, where you can just quick scope them in the face if you're a boss like that. Uh, but yeah, so that's a new mechanic, because you can zoom down the iron sights and down the crosshairs. Another feature to it is you can adjust the um, crosshairs for, uh, for distance. So if you can get accurately guess the distance, you can adjust it so bullet drop um, is accounted for in the scope, which is a very good feature. Um, and again, the hands move the uh, move the uh, kind of uh, zooms up top to account for this, so uh, which is a very cool feature, I think. Okay. Okay guys, that was that. Uh, that's getting very tense at the end, so I'm really looking forward to um, the Red Orchestra 2. We just go on the, uh, we can go on the actual website quickly. Actually, no, we'll go on the Steam page first. We have a look through it. Um, it is released, oh, I should know this. Yes, Tripwire. 
It is released by Trickwire. They're originally a modding company, so if you're looking to mod a game, uh, this might be the game for you because all the modding tools are coming out very early on, if not day one, uh, but they haven't confirmed that. More likely in the first week. Uh, uh, this is uh, some discounts. You can get 10% off for everyone, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you get day one uh, and you buy it, you get all this. And if you're a deluxe edition, you get all this as well. Which is pretty cool, and if you have Team Fortress, which everybody should have, you get extra cool hats, because hats are epic, if you get the Deluxe Edition. Um, yep, yeah, so it's um, $35, uh, dollars, um, or 36 even, uh, if you're uh, purchasing it to the Standard Edition, and $45 um, if, you're, if you're just paying, if you're paying for the Deluxe Edition now in pounds. Um, I'm not sure, just because I'm living in the US at the moment. But um, you can figure that one out yourself. Uh, I presume it'd probably come out for like £29 or something. Um, I'm not sure for the standard edition or something. Because uh, uh, prices tend to be higher. But then again, Steam shouldn't have priced it like that. Uh, so perhaps maybe it's 25 maybe 20 even. Uh, depending what the situation is. Okay, so we're actually going to move on to the second part. Which, well, we can actually look at the website, and this gives you up to things. Um, you should go and uh, have a look at WTF is Red Orchestra, and this is by the Cynical Brit, or on YouTube, Total Halibut. Um, again, Cynical Brit, uh, just uh, type in games co uh, con coverage, and you just simply enter this in, and you will get it. Or just type in WTF is Red Orchestra, and you will get this. This is a very good, um, good commentary and it gives you pretty much everything you need to know and everything you will want to know hopefully okay moving on we're going to the space marine um if you've not seen this this is amazing space marine um you should have seen it it's been uh, advertised i've been watching it um i've been following it certainly um and it was advertised i think in uh, it was advertised a while ago actually i think it came out in 2010 2009 maybe e3 release and then it got reset completely back and um so I was following it, expecting it to come out maybe a year ago, and it didn't, so uh, I'm very happy towards it. Uh, the actual final product looks very good. Uh, so we can actually look at the announced demo trailer quickly. Now if it's in 720, we can actually zoom in. I am a warrior from 40,000... That is so weird. Let's... I am a warrior there we from 40,000 years in the future. My skin can secrete a protective substance that lets me survive in extreme heat. I am master of the chainsaw. I can enter a catatonic state to recover from mortal wounds. I can fly like a bird of prey. I am a space marine. I am a space marine. I am a space marine. Download the demo now. Rated M. Rated M from... Okay, guys, so you can just see the demo announcement trailer. Now, yes, that wasn't the best trailer, but um, it does give you... Uh, kind of insert uh, the actual game's M, as it said. It's very bloody. That's the idea of it, and uh, not lessing down to the genre, which is a great genre. The uh, IP it certainly is, and um, yeah, I I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the actual, it's a third-person uh, shooter. Again, if you've not seen, uh, seen, if you need more information, which you will, because I'm not really giving you any detail on this, uh, just because I found their trailers weren't as long, and it was best to watch something like this. WTF is Warhammer. Uh, Machinima did have a live stream. Coming on today, it's actually finished, uh, so you won't actually be able to see it. Uh, but that gave you loads of information, um, and um, or it certainly gave you multiplayer overview, which is what uh, we wanted. Uh, you will be able to uh, have a look um, at the live stream. It comes usually live streams come out after two weeks or so. Um, I'm not sure. This comes out on the sixth of August, which I cannot wait. The demo is available now if you want to go and get it, which I advise you do, because uh, this is a uh, Total Halibut or the cynical Brit playing it, um, and uh, this is brilliant. He really um, gives you a really good um, opinion on this, or certainly a, a good review on this. Um, it looks amazing to me, and if uh, if it's anything to go by, I would certainly uh, watch this and download the demo. So that is about it for uh, this video. Uh, the only thing I actually want to mention is I'm going to be on holiday for a good. Well, I'm only going to be on holiday for like three days. But I am in the process of moving, so I uh, leave this Thursday, uh, which is, yeah, this Thursday. Um, and I will not be able to produce videos until I get internet back up. Um, I certainly will be recording them necessarily, but it doesn't mean I can put them up. 
uh, as I'm moving to Belgium. So uh, expect maybe a uh, uh, at least a two to three week delay, I'm afraid. Uh, but uh, hopefully this uh, makes up for it, this long video or this two part video I'm going to split it into. So uh, yeah, um, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this. Um, I will be uh, streaming more to go. Uh, I will be streaming more, and uh, we'll hopefully do some more console gameplay when we get back. Or when I get back, certainly. Uh, just because I haven't been doing it, just because I've only had three games, which is Battlefield, Call of Duty 4, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And uh, I haven't really had been in the mood to play them, so I've been playing PC games. But uh, hopefully we can get back to that um, soon enough, and I will have some more... Uh, what's the word? I will have... I don't know. I will have more emphasis to do videos. I will, I will want to do more videos. Uh, but yeah, uh, so hopefully this uh, has given you a good insight on both games. Uh, so, as again, Red Orchestra 2, a must-get if you're a hardcore player and you really want that hardcore sense. And if you just want to gore, you know, smash everything to bits, 40k Space Marine is your choice. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, my name is Nana 2. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much. Thank you.